So here we're given two straight lines, we're given their equations, we're asked to find the point where they meet. Simultaneous equations. Various methods of solving simultaneous equations. So let's look at one method and then we might examine different methods if you're not exhausted by the end of this first one. So let's choose to eliminate x. We have to get the number of x's identical in both equations. So we would leave the first one unchanged, multiply it by 1 if you like, and then multiply the second equation by 3. So let's do that. 3x minus y is still 2. Multiplying everything, both sides, everything in both sides, both terms here, by 3. So we'll get 3x, 3 times 3y, 9y. 3 nineteens, 57. Now remember, no calculator. Hope you know your 19 times table. 3x, 3x. If we subtract... We'll have accomplished our aim of getting rid of the x's. 3x away from 3x, 0. Watch this next one. This is where a lot of mistakes are made. We've got minus y, negative y, and we're taking away 9y. It's like negative 1 and another negative 9. Think of a number line. Negative 1 minus 9. You'll be at the minus 10. So negative y minus 9y will be negative 10y. 2 minus 57 will be negative 55. Again, think of the number line. If you're at 2 and you subtract 57, you'll be at negative 55. We divide both sides now by 10 negative 55 over negative 10. So that's a positive answer. Negative divided by negative is positive. 55 over 10. Let's divide by 5. Top and bottom. Half of 11. 5 and a half. Let's just leave it at 11 over 2 just now. Now, what's then done? We're now trying to find x using this value of y. So we go up, and which is the easiest equation, or original two equations, to find x from? I think you'll agree it's this one. So x plus 3y is 19. So what does that become now that we know y is 11 over 2? So it becomes x plus 3 times 11 over 2 equals 19. So that's x plus 3 rots of 11 halves will be 33 halves. Equals, well let's change this to halves. 38 halves. So we're dealing with halves now. 38 of them minus 33 of them. That'll leave you with Five of them. Now we've been asked for the coordinates of point P. P is the point x coordinate, 5 over 2, y coordinate, 11 over 2. Now it's considered bad manners to write this as 2.5, 5.5. That's bad manners. So there's our answer. And really at this stage you should look at the diagram. These diagrams are usually pretty much okay to scale. Two and a half for x. And five and a half for y. 
that looks reasonable from the diagram. Just a rough check to see that something major hasn't gone wrong. So that's one method. Let's this time have a look at eliminating y. So this is a completely different method. If you're happy with the first method, you can switch off, go away. So same sort of nonsense, but this time we'll multiply the first equation by 3 and leave the second one untouched. We'll have 9x minus 3y equals 6, x plus 3y equals 19. Now remember, we're trying to get rid of y term, negative 3y plus 3y. These are opposite signs, so we'll just add them. 9x plus x is 10x. 3y and the negative 3y cancel. 19 plus 6, 25. So x, let's divide both sides by 10, is 25 over 10. That's 5 over 2, as before. And then to get y, let's use 3x minus y equals 2. So we get 3x, sorry, we get 3 times 5 over 2 minus y equals 2. So that's 3 lots of 5 halves, that's 15 halves minus y equals 2. So let's add y to both sides. 15 over 2 will be 2, that's 4 halves, plus y. And let's take away 4 halves from both sides. So we've got 15 halves, take away 4 halves to get y. That's 11 halves. Writing it the normal way around, y equals 11 halves. So again, using this method, we get the point P having coordinates 5 over 2 and 11 over 2. So there's a second method. Now, unless you're totally fast asleep by now, let's move on to yet another method, the third method. And it's because the form of these equations, you've got a single one of these y's or a single one of these x's. We could, I think this, the second equation is better to use this for. We can rearrange it to get x equals, we take 3y from both sides. So we've got a value for x in terms of y. So now using the first equation, 3x minus y equals 2, what does that become if we replace x by this negative 3y plus 19? So instead of 3 lots of x, we've got 3 lots of minus 3y plus 19. So let's get rid of the brackets here. 3 times negative 3y by negative 9y. 3 9s are 27. Minus y equals 2. So there's nine in, minus 9y minus another 1y. That's negative 10y. Let's subtract 27 from both sides. That disappears and we get minus 27 from the other side. So negative 10y is equal to negative 25. So divide both sides by negative 10. And this now becomes familiar if you've watched the whole of this video. That's positive 25 over 10 or 5 over 2. And then this would be the equation that we would use to find x. So x would be negative 3 times 5 over 2 plus 19. So that's negative 15 over 2 plus 38 halves. Take away 15 halves from 38 halves and you get so 23 halves 
for x, which is what we got before. So again, the point P has coordinates 5 over 2, 23 over 2.